I keep hearing that like these caves were only discovered like not that long ago, comparatively speaking, like the one the other day, 1990. And I can kind of see why now, like this is just a tiny little hole in the rock face miles up the side of a mountain. got some more caves that we want to hit, the weather's a lot better and there's loads more areas where we want to get some pictures and kind of show you guys the Fongnar area. So we've just stopped uh, on the way to the cave we're heading to because the scenery is absolutely beautiful. Yesterday it was pretty cloudy and today it started off cloudy but actually the sun's come out and now you can see just how lush and green everything is. And this spot is right by a bridge so they've got a nice stream in it. It's really really pretty here. I definitely think this is one of the prettiest landscapes we've been to in Vietnam. Hopefully it's a good sign that all these tour buses are leaving Paradise Cave because so far we have seen tons of them and I'm really not a fan of exploring places when there's loads of organised tours in the same place at the same time. We'll see. So we've just made it to Paradise Cave. It's a beautiful drive over here when the weather's dry. It's definitely nicer than it was yesterday. <laughs> there are less tour buses here so that's good. Um, we're going to grab our tickets and go in. I think we have to get a... Um, golf cart to the entrance or something, so we're well, going to we go find piped, out. But we have not a lot of time, so uh, before we need to head back for our train. So we might have to cheat and take a golf yeah, cart. Yeah, I think so. so. We've got our tickets. One adult is 250,000, that's about eight or nine pounds. And the buggy is another like three pounds as well. Thanks. Got the buggy ticket feel so lazy. This is normally the thing I moan about the most when people don't make use of their legs. But we are short on time, so we have to be lazy. Yes, for the first time in Vietnam this feels like a proper humid rainforest and it reminds me of a lot of those old movies with American soldiers walking through ridiculously hot and sweaty wet rainforests. I don't know how anybody found this and apparently it is huge in size. It must have been breathtaking to whoever first discovered it and decided to just duck through this little hole and take a look with a torch. Looks, well, let's go and have a look. I think this is a really breathtaking cave, actually. It's really impressive. You'll never be able to see on video just how cavernous this is, because it, it just doesn't look the same on the back of a camera. But this cavern, at least at the entrance to this cave, is 72 meters high and more than 150 meters wide. 
And then I just learnt that this entire cave system is more than 31 kilometers long, which is vast. Um, it must have been incredible to be the first people to drop down here and then go and map it. And that was only mapped and discovered to be 31 kilometers long in 2005. Every chamber you go in is like even bigger. I reckon this was higher than the one we came in. It's just vast cavern. So we've got to the end of the boardwalk. This is a kilometre into the cave, and I think Alex said earlier it's 31 kilometres long. There's also a tour that you can do where you go in a little bit further, you go in seven kilometres. Alex wasn't so keen because he doesn't really like being in caves so much, but now we've both said actually it would be really cool to have done. Just come out of a really nice cool cave and been immediately hit by the humidity out here. It's such a difference, it's insane. We're really short on time, we've got a train to catch in about two and a half hours so we are going to hustle back to our accommodation get our bags and head back to Donghoi. Bag at the hotel and this is our setup we're ready to go big bag on the back little bag in the front super comfy let's go to Donghoi. just made it onto a train with like five minutes of step spare. That is definitely the finest we've ever cut it. So we're going to head to Dong, no, where are we going? Danang. And from there we're going to Huayan. And I'm guessing we'll just pick this up tomorrow from Huayan. Yeah. yeah. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.